Hello, it's time for another video and today I'll be showing you how to make my deuce machine which is a tennis, it's used in tennis and I've made it in Minecraft using a lot of redstone so um, without further ado let's see how it works so at the moment um, the two players are in deuce so if you don't know tennis then this probably hasn't got anything to do with you but um, if anyone wants to make a tennis game or wants to make theirs better then they can add this into the into their map which I'll show you how to make in a way so deuce it's in deuce this signifies um, that this match has come to a deuce so let's say player one scores a point then they get the advantage and then the deuce light goes off and then let's say player two scores a point then instead of player two getting the advantage it goes back to deuce so this time let's say player one scores they get the advantage and then they get another point then you can see that player one has got the match point and then it goes back to deuce and then you can just use that hook it up to a counter on both sides and um, just make a proper tennis game so the way this works is in different functions there's different sections and mechanisms in this whole machine so I'm going to explain to you what each mechanism does and how they affect the other sort of side or the other player so the first one is the input which is the monostable circuit so you can see that here so the button is on the other side of this block and there's a redstone on top and that enables this um, monostable circuit so this sends out a pulse to this piston which goes into the sticky piston mechanism which is the memory in a way so this sticky piston sends out the block um, allowing power to get to this redstone dot because the block is is secure there and it won't be pulled back because the sticky piston doesn't have enough time to so after this redstone dot is um, powered then it will go into the incomplete or what I call the incomplete XOR gate which is instead of having um, one output from two inputs it's having two outputs from two inputs so I'm just going to show you how that works so as you can see these torches here is, are the output so as you can see they're both off at the moment so let's say player one scores a point then you can see that player one's torch is lit up but player two still is powered off is unpowered and then if player two gets the point then both the torches have been turned have been reset and been turned off again so this is the main core pr processor um, in a way to this whole machine is the the core of it so you could make a simple more more or less deuce machine out of it but I sort of extended it and added more functions to it so when both of these um, redstone dots are powered then they will turn off these torches which will turn off this redstone turning on these torches which are on both sides and um, enable these pistons again which will pull back the block so it's kind of like a reset and it will also turn off these torches here by going underground so the redstone there will go underneath going into this into both sides into this block um, turning this torch off which will allow this piston to be pulled back and that will reset the whole thing so that's the first added function the next one is for the um, the light and that's pretty simple that just gets the power from here and just go straight down into the um, the advantage point then um, what's next so we've done all oh, the second memory so the monostable circuit lock that just locks the monostable circuit using these torches so if this if player one gets the advantage you can see that this torch has been turned on so if I was to press it again then this monostable circuit would stay like that but then I've added something else on top of that I've just added the match point so you can see that stays on it doesn't turn off which would be it would turn off if 
you were just using the main um, incomplete XOR game and I'll show you how to make that um, afterwards so or maybe in another video and then the next thing is the um, yeah so we've done the orange output which is the advantage output now the next output is a little bit more confusing and that's the match point and gate output I can fly um, and that means and that happens when this monostable circuit has been locked so when this torch turns off so when you next press the button and this torch turns off this torch will still remain off because um, player one still hasn't got a point from here yet so but when this torch is unpowered so this redstone is unpowered and this torch is powered I mean this torch is unpowered and so forth so this redstone wire should be unpowered but this torch ooh, but this torch stays powered because the monostable circuit is still unactive so whenever you next press the button this torch will turn off and then um, because there's no um, input there's no um, signal in this there's no power in this redstone then this torch will turn on and that will enable the match point indicator and then the um, one of the last things um, the output which is the deuce that just happens when um, yeah so that was just stay on whenever neither of those lights have got a point so if this um, light if this player one has got the advantage so this redstone wire will be lit up this torch will be turned off this torch will be turned on and that will turn off this light which will that will turn off that torch which will turn off this uh, light simple as that and then the last thing which is the blue white blue wall and that is another reset and that's the end game automatic reset so at first I made it so you didn't so you had to manually reset it after the game but I've added this function so whenever either of these torches so whenever either of these um, match point has occurred so I've explained to you that when both these um, inputs have been turned off then this output will turn on so an AND game um, so when either of these have been powered so when either of these have got a match when either team player A or player B have got a point have got a um, match point then it will activate this wire this repeater which will go into a redstone wire which will also power both of these monostable circuits just like this button does and that is just an automatic reset so I'm just going to quickly show you how to build the um, XOR incomplete XOR gate because that's the main processor in the entire mechanism and it's sort of a twist on a main logic gate so it's probably a new innovation in a way for scoring um, like in PvP matches or what mini games and stuff so let me show you how to make that so to make the incomplete XOR gate or XOR gate which is used to make the core processor in the deuce machine you'll need to place block there block there block there block on the other side it's more uh, symmetrical so whatever you do on one side you do on the other so block there block there like that place them there 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 and finally there like that so you've got a really weird sort of like staircase you want to place two levers like so on both those blocks redstone on each side of them redstone there redstone there and redstone there on the front you want to put a torch there and there and on the back you want to place a torch there 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 and then on either side of this block like that and then you, you can have your output coming out from here like that but just for the moment I'll be placing it there like so so this is the core processor in the um, deuce machine so let me demonstrate to you by using levers so player A has got the point or the advantage player B scores that's it both gone 
and then you have to manually reset it like that. But th that's the, just the main processor in the entire thing. As you can see, they both individually turn on. But if they're both turned on, they both turn off. Simple as that. And on a normal XOR gate, you just have a torch coming out from here, I believe. So the output would be there. So on, 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 kind of, I think. No. No, it's not, the XOR gate isn't like that. But that's just the way to make the incomplete XOR gate because it's it's similar it's it's very similar it's just the output is slightly different because on this one the output is split into two different ones whether the XOR gate uh, you have the output converging on one so yeah so that's the very simple incomplete XOR gate which can help you make an entire deuce machine so tennis in Minecraft so if any of you want to make uh, tennis Minecraft then be sure to um, consider this because it is I did spend a lot of time on it and I'm probably not going to make a tennis machine in the future because Seth Bling has already made one so I'll uh, link his video in the description so you can check out what my kind of what the inspiration was like because I saw it um, didn't really like the way it was uh, how it was scored and decides to build a be better deuce machine and it all kind of exploded when I kind of found out about the un incomplete XOR gate which is my own invention so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a rate, comment and subscribe and also um, comment on whether you think uh, on what you want me to build kind of if you need me to build anything because at the moment I don't really have anything to do I'm running out of ideas I want to improve my channel. Um, let me know what you, the viewers, think, and I'll get right to it. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.